Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, this video we're going to take one pound of gold-plated computer parts and, re and recover the gold from it. Uh, this is by far one of the most requested videos I get on my channel. So here you go guys, I hope you guys enjoy it. First of all, I want to talk about safety. Do not try this at home. This is extremely dangerous. Even the fumes can kill you, you know, let alone you don't want the nitric acid to touch your fingers. You don't want any of this stuff on anywhere near you or pets or any, any, anyone else. So just don't even do this. Yeah, really important safety, no joke. Don't try this at home. Leave a guess in the comments how much gold you think we're gonna get out of one pound of gold-plated computer parts. All right, I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so here's the one pound of gold fingers from computers that we're gonna go ahead and recover. All right, so here's what we need. First, we have distilled water and a squirt bottle. Um, we have some 37% hydrochloric acid. We have some nitric acid here. We've got a coffee pot and two glass containers. A couple coffee filters here, there's two of them here. You know, obviously safety equipment. As you know, don't try this at home. All right, first let's take our gold fingers and put it in this coffee pot here. four cups of gold fingers there. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to cover it with a nitric acid and water solution. We want three water to one nitric acid. So let's fill this up to six. So this is distilled water. And then we're gonna take our nitric acid and fill this up to the two here. All right, that's a little more, that's more than I wanted, that's three. So let's bring this up to nine. So there we go, that's the amount we're gonna use. All right, at this point, we're gonna go ahead and pour it in with our gold fingers. We're gonna cover it, make sure uh, all the gold is covered up. Alright, so it's the next day. I let it go overnight. You can see the solution's blue. That's the copper that's been dissolved. We're going to go ahead and pour this off and we're going to separate the solid stuff from the liquid stuff. These are just coffee filters here. Okay, so over here we have our uh, nitric acid and water solution draining off here, filtering through. Uh, and right here we have our gold fingers that are uh, poured off. So what we need to do now is we need to actually rinse this off about three times with some distilled water. All right, so we got everything drained off off of here. We rinsed it three times. We have everything that's been drained off. I consolidated everything to like one filter. So we're just waiting for this to finish draining off. And then we're gonna take the entire filter and put it right in here with this, uh, with the rest of the gold and the fingers. And then we're gonna go to the next step after that. I know I didn't mention it in my last video either, I don't think, but make sure you neutralize everything with baking soda and you recycle it. All right, so the next step is to make an aqua regia, which is gonna put this gold into solution. Aqua regia is a mixture of hydrochloric and nitric acid. So it's three parts hydrochloric acid to one part nitric acid. We have it right here. We're gonna go ahead, we'll put our hydrochloric acid in here first. Then we add our nitric acid slowly. and we just add it directly to our gold fingers. All right, so we let this cook until all the gold's gone. All right, so unfortunately for this clip, um, my audio died in my camera, so I'm gonna have to narrate this part. 
But basically all I'm doing right here is pouring this off. Um, you can see all the gold has been dissolved into solution, so I'm pouring it through a coffee filter right here. Going nice and slow because I don't want to lose any. Um, that liquid actually has gold in it, so we want to make sure we don't miss anything. Uh, here I rinse it a little bit. I do that twice. There I rinse it the second time, or third time, whatever. Right here I'm just showing that all the gold has been dissolved off of the gold fingers. And right here, this is the filter. Uh, you, you see all that yellow on there? That's actually the chlorauric acid that needs to be washed off because that does contain gold. Alright, so the next step is to get some sodium metabisulfite. That's how you spell it right there. Uh, there's also a link in the description. I picked this stuff up at a home brewing company. Um, but basically, you take that stuff and you dissolve some in water. I don't know exactly how much, I just dumped a bunch in some water and mixed it up real good until it was almost all dissolved there. And the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and, and stir this up as we add the sodium metabisulfite and this is going to drop the, the gold out of solution. Just slowly. What I'm looking at is the foam. When the suds stop turning yellow, then we know that we added enough. As you can see, I'm doing it over this plastic pan in case it boils over. Okay, so I think I added enough. But the only way to tell for sure is to take a drop of this stuff. Let's take a drop and put it on a paper towel, like that. And then this stuff here is called stannous chloride. Then what you do is you take some stannous chloride. If there's a reaction, then there's still gold in solution. If there's no reaction, then we got it all. Looks like we got it all. Good. So now we just let this sit and settle and that's going to take a while. So I'll see you on the next step. If you look really closely you can actually see the gold particles falling out of solution there. They're collecting on the bottom. That's pretty cool. All right, audio died again. This is another narration. Just showing that uh, I did pour off all the liquids off the top of that after it settled and I was left with this brown mud here. I need to rinse it about three times with distilled water and that's what I'm doing right now. Just rinsing it, letting it settle and then I pour off that water and then scrape up all the mud and then we're gonna fire it up and you'll see it turn gold. Right now it's still brown but once we heat it up it'll be gold and we'll see you there. All right, so down here at the bottom of this container, we have our dried out gold powder. So we need to scrape that off into this crucible right here. Uh, this crucible has been, I already put a nice layer of borax in there. I melted it down so it's like a, a nice layer of borax in there. Okay, so as you can see, we got all of our gold powder out right there in our crucible. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some borax to it this is just borax. Put some on there. And we're going to heat it up. Alright, so you can see it's starting to turn gold there. 
but it's not quite melted, so we got to keep on going. All right, well, my map gas torch is not enough to melt this down to a bead, uh, so we do have a bunch of little crumbs in here. As you can see, some nice little chunky pieces. Let's heat it up, we'll pour it off into some water, and then uh, we'll see what we got. Check that out. A nice little nugget there. There's a lot of borax glass in there, so the weight is not going to be accurate unless I crush it up and pan it out. Let's go ahead and crush it up and pan it down so we could get rid of all the little, the little bits of borax that are still trapped in this piece of gold right here. And then we'll weigh it up. Alright, so to crush it up, I'm just going to throw it in here and take a pair of pliers and smash them up. That should loosen up all the glass from the gold. Alright, so next we pan it out. Just pan it off. Pan off all that glass. We definitely got some nice chunky pieces of gold out of that. I was not expecting that much. That's really good. Let's go ahead and dry it out and weigh it up. Okay, here we go. Let's weigh it up. Tear that out. Zero. Wow. I'm actually really surprised by that. I didn't think we would get almost a full gram. That is really good. Awesome. Let's see what it's worth. Okay, let's take a look. So we got 0.937 grams. And this is 24 karat gold. Yeah, 39 bucks. So that's pretty good. Now, I did pay $67 for those gold fingers, plus all the chemicals and everything. So of course, um, you're not going to make money doing this. I just did this as a favor to one of my uh, subscribers there, Bill J. There you go, man. And there's there's other guys too that requested it. Now I didn't get a nice little BB of gold. In order to do that, I need a furnace, and I don't have one. Uh, I just work with what I have. So there you go. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. I put out a new video every three days. So that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.